game fade you boy Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I have a $1,500 silent gaming PC build. Um, it's not going to be completely silent by any means, but I just tried to go with a relatively quiet um, computer in this build. And actually, I didn't sacrifice too much performance or too much um, you know, performance per dollar value. Um, I think I did pretty decent in this build actually. So let's get right into it. For the CPU, I own the Intel Core i7. 3770K, 3.5 gigahertz quad core processor. I went with this because it has a slightly lower clock speed and um, doesn't, you know, generate as much heat um, usually as like the Haswell processor, like the 4770K or whatever. So, and really, it doesn't sacrifice all that much performance either. Um, that's why I like 3770K and the 3570K for that matter. Uh, so yeah, anyways, moving on to the CPU cooler, I'm with the Be Quiet, that's the name of the company, Dark Rock 57.9 CFM Fluid Dynamic Bearing CPU Cooler. So the fluid bearings, what I believe they do, I don't know exactly, it just makes, um, you know, the fan generally quieter and the heatsink generally quieter. I didn't go with, you know, a completely silent build like a passive heatsink or anything like that. Um, this still does have a fan on it. Uh, it is an active CPU cooler, but it is one of the most quiet active CPU coolers like that I've ever seen personally, and still does a decent job of cooling. I wouldn't really recommend overclocking your CPU with this cooler. You can if you want. I mean, honestly, you could probably get some decent overclocks, but um, I'd just keep it at stock if you don't want to be running this at high RPMs. So for the motherboard, I want the ASRock Z77 Extreme 4 ATX LGA 1155 motherboard. Right now, this is $130 and will support everything we need. It's it's just a mid-range motherboard, not much you could say. It looks pretty cool and um, fully featured ATX, uh, a bunch of PCIe slots. I don't know if it's four-way SLI or three-way SLI or how many PCIe slots it actually has currently because I'm not looking at the page but I will have the link in the description for all the parts and you guys can check it out yourself. For the memory, I'm with the G-Scale Ripjaws X-Series, eight gigabytes, which is two six of four gigabytes, DDR3, 16, or 1866 actually megahertz memory. Uh, it is $82.05 and is some of the best memory around currently. Being that memory prices are super high at the moment, uh, this is some of the best stuff you can get, being that it is 1866, eight gigabytes, and basically just as cheap as uh, RAM prices were at the beginning of last year or whenever before they spiked like crazy. Um, that's not going to determine the um, the loudness of this build at all, really. RAM doesn't determine anything. Uh, but yeah, for the storage, I want the Western Digital Caviar Black 2TB 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Uh, this hard drive isn't extremely... Um, loud or extremely quiet. If you really want to go with something quiet, you can get um, a higher capacity, you know, 5400 RPM drive, although I wouldn't really recommend doing that as you'll sacrifice a lot of speed, um, but that'll just make it spin a lot quieter. And honestly, if you just take good care of this hard drive, uh, you shouldn't have any hard drive coils or hard drive winds or whatever you call it. Not much you could say there. I also went with a Samsung 840 Pro Series 128 gig solid state drive. Uh, solid state drives are much quieter um, than mechanical drives because they don't have to spin. Basically, you're just zapping um, data onto a chip instead of actually spinning on plates and writing data. Uh, so it should be a lot quieter. If you really want to spend a lot of extra money, and I mean a lot of extra money to get the best uh, silence optimized PC possible. You can just um, go with a full on SSD build, but I would wait to do that later. Uh, I saw that CES A Data has two terabyte SSDs coming out soon if you want to buy one of those, but I don't know who would really. But that's just a side note. Um, for the video card, I'm with the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 770 four gigabyte video card. Uh, the four gigabyte video buffer really doesn't matter. You can go with a two, uh, two terabyte, Jesus Christ, two gigabyte if you really want to. But the reason I went with the gigabyte one is it has its uh, wind force cooler and the wind force cooler is insanely awesome 
because it has three, um, I don't know the exact dimensions of the fans, but like three pretty large fans. And what you can do is, you know, download a program like MSI Afterburner or whatever, or maybe you could do it in your BIOS depending on um, how your BIOS looks. But you can just turn down the RPMs of each individual fan and it will cool just as good as, you know, like an ASUS card would or anything like that. Plus, this has a really good heat sink and really good heat pipes on it. So it should cool fairly well. So you can just turn down the RPMs and it will be pretty quiet. Um, not much more you could say there. I have an EVGA 770 and that thing is quiet in itself. And the cooler is not even close to what the uh, Gigabyte Wind Force cooler is. So this thing will be pretty dang quiet. So yeah. Moving on to the case on the Fractal Design Define R4 with a window. This is the Black Pearl ATX Mid Tower case. This is $110 and is awesome because it comes with um, really good fans. They're not, you know, they don't have insane static pressure or anything. Um, they're relatively slow RPM fans, but they are basically silent. Plus, this case has sound dampening foam on the front panel and. Um, I think it is actually only on the front panel, but still, that helps a little bit. It will dampen the sound. For the power supply, I'm with the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro, um, 850 watt, 80 plus prat platinum, totally platinum certified semi modular ATX power supply. This is $240 and is a beast of a power supply. 80 plus platinum, semi modular. I don't really think you guys need any more than semi modular, although it will help with the airflow. Um, Great efficiency, uh, relatively quiet. Be Quiet is a great uh, company. Linus Tech Tips has ranted about Be Quiet multiple times, and uh, you know I've seen a few of their products, and they're they're really good. So, anyways, uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here, and thanks for watching. Peace.